All right, so we're reviewing for our quiz Monday over sections 12.1 through 12.4. Uh, we're starting number one by writing the degree, I'm sorry, writing the polynomial in standard form. And that means descending order uh, in order of the exponential values. So here's what you should have written. Did you write it that way? What is the degree of this polynomial? What is the degree of the polynomial? What does that mean, Cole? Um, the highest exponent number, which is 7. Very good. So out of all the terms in the polynomial, what's the highest exponential value? That's 7. So the degree of the polynomial is 7. Okay? So it's going to ask you both on your quiz on Monday. Write it in standard form and then tell me the degree. So let me show you another way that this could be written. Okay? And that's kind of... Here, let me darken that up a little bit. So 2, here, 2a squared, oh goodness, okay, 2a squared b to the third equals, now within one term, I have two, two variables with exponents. So when I'm considering the degree of that term, I still add those exponents together for a degree of 5, okay, and then this one is still 7, let me rewrite that, okay, so it's the highest exponential value within a term, if there's multiple variables within a term, I add all the exponents together to find the degree, okay, um, next I want to, whoops, goodness, hold on, let me, there we go. All right, so on the next one, I want you to now add these sets of polynomials together. So we're simplifying the polynomial through addition. But what are we doing here? We're simplifying the like terms. In order to be a like term, it has to have the same exponential value with the variable. So negative 3x squared plus 4x squared is 1x squared. 2x plus 3x is what? 5x. Negative 5 minus 8 is negative 13. And that's how I simplify it. So I'm just combining all those like terms together. Okay? Okay, so now... Let's simplify this subtraction polynomial. Remember your rule for subtracting polynomials. So with subtraction, here's what I suggest that you do. Nothing changes in the first set. You just rewrite it. But I suggest that you rewrite the second set by adding the opposite. So we change that subtraction sign in front to an addition sign. And every term inside the parentheses is now the opposite sign. Okay, that's just how I like to do it. I like to just switch it, write all the opposite signs, and then combine them together. All right, and so now 4 minus 6 gives me negative 2. 6y squared minus 6y squared is 0. Do I even need to write that? No, they just cancel. Minus 18. Okay, because negative 8 minus 10 is negative 18. All right, now I want you to do a multiplication, monomial and poly polynomial multiplied together. Okay, so negative 3p times 2p squared. Now that I'm multiplying terms together, what do I do to their exponents? I add the exponents together with multiplication. So I get negative 6p to the third plus 18p squared plus 30p, okay? Now I want you to do a division one. Remember what I told you to do when you're dividing a binomial by a monomial. Remember what I told you to do. Go ahead and follow those steps and simplify this term. So we separate the division into two separate terms, right? Did you do that? But what sign goes in between the fractions? How do you know that? Because 15 is negative. All right, now you can simplify each term. 21 divided by 3 is 7. And then you subtract your x's and you get 
x squared minus 5. Do I have an x? Why? Because 1 minus 1 cancels it out to 0. So 7x squared minus 5. All right. Now, multiplying binomials. What method did I teach you? FOIL. FOIL where F stands for first, outside, inside, last. Go ahead and simplify each of these binomials. Okay, so let's go ahead and multiply this out. First, outside, inside, last. And when I simplify, did I get this? Okay, the second set of terms... All right, first, outside, inside, last, and simplify. All right, any questions? Did y'all get who got those right? Who got them right? Okay, very good. All right, and that's everything that will be on your quiz on Monday.